So we came to current police station to look for help. We drove right into the station, but those two cars followed us right inside and forced me into their car, a white pro box. I was sandwiched between two men in civilian clothes. I was handcuffed and I was assaulted. They were demanding to know why I was resisting arrest. And I told them I was not resisting arrest, I was resisting criminals. I don't know who you are. You have not identified your, yourselves. And up to now, as far as I am concerned, you are criminals. They drove me down uh, Langata Road, up to near, I think around the turning of uh, Langata South Road, where they stopped. I made a few calls. I don't know to who, but they were, I gather they were talking to their superior. I could hear the muttering words about Alpha, Bravo, Sierra. I don't know what, the, what those mean. But I had them mention DIC headquarters. Then after some long conversations, the decided to turn back. Uh, we came with them. I was still handcuffed in the car. We stopped here, just across the road here, near, Shell Poli near the Shell petrol station. That is the time they asked for my ID, and I gave it to them. They looked at it. They said, you're the Francis Macharia guy, though? I said, yes. One guy got out, made some phone calls, came back again, asked for my phone number. I refused to give it to him. They had previously asked for my phone also, which I did not have with me because I had left it with my son. Um, after another long telephone conversation, they came back and the guy sitting behind was asked to remove my handcuffs. Then they told me it was a case of mistaken identity and that I am free to go. I do not believe that. That Francis guy though, I am twice his age. That Francis guy though, does not live where I live because they trailed me from my house. That Francis guy though, as far as I know, does not drive a car that resembles mine. They, it is me they were looking for. It is me they were trailing. Does this cow you?